too many cooking and unboxing videos and yes regular viewers will see I've still not got my garden shelter built I've just moved house I live on a building site it's a bit dusty however I've got an Eddie or Erdy 102 trailer from my dad thanks very much um, I've decided I'm gonna get this ready for my Vulcan pizza oven from Skillcraft to go on top so I can pop around and do a few events locally. So I nipped over to Skillcraft and see Dave. Um, he's hooked me up with some metal for the top of the trailer and also some supporting brackets, which are gonna fit on top. And I've got some aluminium bar, which I'm gonna fit to the top of this and to the piece rubbing, just to lift it up a bit and to give it a bit of strength. Now, Regular viewers of the channel will know the Vulcan pizza oven from Skillcraft is an absolute beast. Um, I've moved out, it's in storage at my mate's garage. So basically we need to get this all ready so I can tow this over to his garage and we can get the pizza oven on and get it bolted onto the trailer. So I thought I'd run you through what I'm gonna do. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is you'll see the little trailer tabs for holding the cover on. I'm going to go around and drill out all of those rivets, take them off, um, and then at a later date I'm going to pop rivet them back on once I have got some new sign writing for the trailer, um, and it's all going to look well, fantastic. And stay tuned for this video and the next video, um, in a couple of videos time, um, I'm going to be doing, once this is on, I'm going to be doing how to renovate your skill craft or your outside pizza oven if it's been out in the winter for a couple of years and um, how to make it look good and how to fit a brand new cup to it so i picked a cover up from dave um, and skillcraft as well as you can see um, so without further ado i'm going to start drilling out all of these rivets and taking the cover pieces off now it's interesting to mention this trailer will carry 300 kilo um, the trailer itself is around 50 kilo and the Skillcraft oven itself is about 125 kilo so it gives us a little bit of payload for this extra metal and for carrying a, a few light bits and bobs underneath in the trailer. So now that's all the strap holders taken care of, it wasn't 20, it was 12, not too bad. Um, I'm going to offer up first of all the strengthening plates. Now these are made of steel and they're designed to go where the feet is going to go. So let's have a little look. I have put a little pre-mark on the trailer where the feet are going to go. So it's nice and square and again at the back that'll create a stronger corner and hopefully the trailer will be stronger okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to run be the ceiling all the way around the trailer put these back on sealant over the top i'm then going to put the top piece onto the trailer so that's sealed on um, and then we're going to screw that down so i'm just using Clear silicon. Um, 
also just put a little bead along this edge before I press it in. strengthening plates just so they can done for now and um, next another bead of sealant and I'm going to put the top on that's already got holes pre-drilled and we can then use some self drilling self tappers to secure that down Drag it to that corner and slide it down. Just going to make sure that that's all nice and tight. I'm just going to push it down onto the silicon bed. And you will see that there is a lip along that back edge. Pizza oven's going to face this way. I've got the lip so that I can slide my pizza peels underneath and they won't fall, fall out. Also the lip at the far edge just gives it a little bit of strength. Because obviously that back tailgate is going to fold up and down. So it's just giving it a little bit of extra. Real. Right, let's get this screwed down. Right, so I'm just going to be using some easy drives just to put these in now I'm not going to be using the middle hole because I'm going to have a, one of the bars across there so I'm just going to start off with this corner panel obviously I'm gonna be bolting through that anyway um, but I might just now I'm gonna leave it for now until I know where the bars are gonna sit before I put any more along there. Now we can peel all the film off the trailer looking fabulous now I'm just gonna go and clean up the edges um, from the silicon and then we're going to move on to the bars that have run, a, run across. So next I've got this 10 gauge aluminium 50mm box section. I bought this off eBay. Uh, it was around £60 for the three. Um, but 
it's going to raise the oven up. There's going to be three. It's going to raise the oven up. It's also going to give some good heat, sort of dissipation. And it should also allow me enough room to slide pizza peels and turners underneath while I'm cooking. So we've got a place for them to go whilst the pizza oven is in action. So I'm going to bolt the middle one down so that it's got, because this isn't going to move. Then when we go to the pizza oven, it's got legs and the legs are going to sit this side so it doesn't move. And I'm then going to bolt through the legs into this box section. This box section is then going to get bolted to the trailer. That's how the oven is going to be connected. Now, I'm going to leave these ones loose because I want to bolt them to the oven first because it'll be a lot easier to do that. And then I can drill up through the trailer through this bar and bolt it on. This one I'm going to get bolted on now. Then we can get the trailer hooked up and we can go and get the pizza oven on top. Drill right. Let's take these edge ones off. I'm going to drill through and we're going to get this one bolted on. Right, okay, so I'm just going to mark up where I'm going to drill through. there is I put the nut and bolt from underneath so it hides all the nut and bolt in the actual box section and these are going to have blanks put on the ends as well um, I've used a washer a locking washer and a nut so I'm going to do the same on the other side right, so I have just just finished drilling that hole and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit of silicon around the hole same on this side I'm just going to lift this up just to help make sure water doesn't get in to the trailer especially if you've got your nice dry wood inside the trailer the last thing we want is for a load of water to be in So, 
that's the last nut and bolt for this one on and it's it's solid this whole trailer now is really rigid and it's ready for pizza oven so i'm going to get this back out of my garden and uh, we're going to cook it up and we're going to get it on the trailer uh, on the tow bar uh, and we're going to go and pick up the pizza oven and get it on uh, right so we're now at reese's uh, thanks for letting me store your well use all your storage basically um while we moved out so you've just seen me putting the trailer together as in what i've done to get it ready um you'll see in the little bits next to me just here uh, i was drilling the feet out um, and basically we've just bolted the other two aluminium sections to the pizza oven and we're going to attempt <laughs> to lean it on and then slide it onto here it's either going to work or it's going to go horribly wrong right should we give it a go nhs is free uh, right so if we took it off just, yeah We're nearly there, we're nearly there. Oh, and there goes the oven door. We should have maybe taken that off. Um, anyway, that's for another video, because I have broken it. And you'll see, I've got sleeping bags inside to stop the tiles going everywhere. Um, but luckily, I'm going back to Skullcraft soon. And Dave sorted me out one of the new style doors anyway, so bro. Right. We just need to get this position now. So right. Right up. And you know what? I mean a tape measure, but that looks bob on, doesn't it? For the sake of two mil, I think that's that's pretty good, isn't it? That'll do. That'll do. Uh, right. So now I need to drill through these and bolt this on. So I'll speed this bit up because it's only me drilling in, spannering. Cool. Now for the bolts. Washer, lucky washer on the nut. And then I just need nipping up a little bit of silicon around him so there we have it the Vulcan is finally on a trailer woohoo um, looks good I bring you in some little pictures next to us so you can see the uh, bolts nice and close up how we've done it coming up I'm gonna get some blanks for these end pieces as well for both sides just to neaten it up I've got space underneath the oven but it'll actually act as an air gap and I can put pizza peels and stuff underneath and I have seen at Skillcraft they have started to make a, a flap down workbench so we may even get a, a little lift up workbench just on the edge of the trailer um, so join me in another video where I'm going to be showing you how to change the cover on a Vulcan or a Vulcan Plus um, because this one is absolutely bashed up uh, have a look at the picture next to me that's from where it's been in the storage however as you know i've been to see david skillcraft i'm skillcraft i've got a yellow one to go on so i'm going to do a video on how to you know respray all your oven up after storage get it all looking fresh again and 
Um, I'm going to be getting some vinyl graphics for the trailer, so I'll video getting them fitted. So I think it's time for a celebration. Cheers, Vulcan. And until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. One piece of too many.